All right, guys, we've reached the last part of this assignment. So this is the last part. Using observational data from the researcher's journal notes, write out or sketch a hypothetical food web for the beaver pond on Red River. We'll come back to the next one. All right, so let's go up here. So in paragraph seven, this is the researcher's um, observations. So she says, as we hike along the river, the unrelenting Texas heat is made somewhat bearable by a shade of a towering eastern cottonwood and black willow trees. The beavers have made good use of these trees along the river, as both a dam and dome-like lodge are visible bookends to a small pond in the middle. As we approach the edge of the pond, several frogs leap to safety in the water. It's not surprising they are there, since we notice plenty of swarming invertebrates, such as stoneflies and damselflies. A decent amount of emergent plants, such as cattails and submerged plants like Elodea, are visible in the pond. The numerous gizzard shadfish present lead me to believe that there must be a healthy population of zooplankton, since that is their primary food source. It was a real treat to see a pair of blue-winged teal ducks bobbing for submerged vegetation. This seems like a viable site for our future research. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these different animals or organisms from this reading and make a food web out of it. So basically, so we see things like, let's look for the, the very bottom, the producers. So we have cattails and we have Elodea. So there's going to be some up and down, up and down. Or I'm going to draw it on a piece of paper. Here we go. All right, so at the very bottom, I'm going to put cattails and Elodea. These are my producers. They're at the very bottom. Okay, and it says that there are zooplankton's. which eat the Elodea. So I would have my arrow going from my, y'all, sorry, this is hard. Um, Elodea to the zooplankton's. And then it says that the gizzard shadfish eat the zooplankton. So I'm gonna put my gizzard shad fish. Okay, so far so good. Um, there's going to be stoneflies and damselflies. And those are getting eaten by the frog. The stoneflies are probably going to eat those plants. All right. And we have the ducks that also are going to eat that Elodea, that is that submerged vegetation. All right, so you are going to draw me out something like that. Um, or you can design it on Google Drawing, that's completely fine. Some of you are super artsy. I'm not. All right, so let's go to the second part. And it's important that you know how to take organisms from a reading and um, make a food web out of that because you're going to have to do that on our upcoming Unit 1 test. All right, the second part of this question. Then predict how the food web might change once the beaver dam is gone and the ecosystem returns to a river. So what do you think would happen? If there's less water, would there be as many plants? Um, and if there's less plants, would there be as many bugs to eat the plants? If there's not as many bugs, would there be as many ducks or frogs? So you tell me what you think would happen. And that's it. You're done. Good job, guys.